Maybe it's time to clean. Don't look at me like that, okay? Don't look at me with those judgy eyes. I know I just did a massive cleaning video like two months ago and we're back in this position. However, I will have to say things have improved drastically since then. This mess has only been messy for like one day. It's only been one day, okay? And I'm getting on it instead of leaving it for two months and just scurrying around objects and kicking them around like they're not there. This time, I know that there's a pattern and since it's the new year, I decided to do a massive deep clean again to get my environment and mind right for 2024. And I'm excited to clean. What? Is that a real sentence that just came out of my mouth? Most of this mess is from a DIY room makeover that I did a couple days ago and it tends to get this messy and chaotic because I have all these DIY supplies, stuff I have to cut, stuff I have to assemble. And like, I'm not gonna lie, in the past I might have just left it for like weeks or months because I'm just like too lazy to like pick stuff up. However, I have people coming over in two days, which actually I found has been the best motivator to keep things tidy is to have people over every couple of days or have your friends suddenly pop by. It's kind of a jump scare to keep you on your toes because you never know when people are gonna show up. So you always have to keep things clean. Anyway. Let's get started. I'm first gonna start with the couch area as always. I recently made over this part of my apartment and I'm obsessed with it. I realized that having my condo look aesthetically pleasing has helped me stay organized so much more because I have something pretty to look forward to at the end. It's like a little reward, you know? That's just something that works for me. If you're wondering why there's so much tissue paper involved, the messiness, it's because I recently bought these Serena Carpenter boots. You know the one where she goes, Slam the door, I hit ignore. Um, I'm about to slam the door and hit ignore so hard. I slam the door, I hit ignore. Look how iconic. I'm so excited to strut around in these at my next show. Stream Gen Z. So I tear every little shred of tape off of cardboard boxes because I want to be environmentally friendly when I recycle them? Or is it because I love the tiny little feelings of success that give me little dopamine rushes every time I rip off a piece of tape? We will never know. Okay, my living room area is now clean. It actually took like 10 minutes tops and it was so fast. And this is why it's one of one it, this is why it's one of well Dude, I just I just glitch so hard. This is why it's one of my favorite areas to clean because it's just like so simple and easy and also because the end result is so aesthetically pleasing. I just love how it turned out. But the reality of filming a room makeover is that one room will look so nice and aesthetic and like made over and then the other side looks like a battlefield. So clearly we can see which side of the room lost in the war, but this side of the room is gonna be a little more complicated to clean up because there's a lot more like bits and bobs that need to go back into the right place, like tools and supplies and just all the things that I brought out that I needed to use for the makeover. I'm not really looking forward to this part, but I need to keep my little mind entertained. So I wanna thank Audible for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Audible is, girl, are you living under a rock at this point? They offer an incredible selection of podcasts, audiobooks, and originals across every single genre that you could ever imagine. Currently, I'm listening to My Life with the Walter Boys because I have been so obsessed with the show. It's like my new summer I turned pretty. So I'm listening to the audiobook version and it's so entertaining. I just love my little like rom-coms. When I don't want to be a rom-com fiend, I have been loving the Mel Robbins audiobook. I love her podcast, so I thought I would give her her audiobook a try. If any of you guys struggle with organization, planning routines, having like a good schedule and just like getting your life together, her stuff is so helpful. Highly recommend checking out her audiobook on Audible. And then also I always re-listen to Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's also super helpful for getting your life together. And I'm just gonna listen to those and clean. No, it's gonna be fine. I really like how I started off this video being like, I'm excited to clean. Oh, what? Is that a real sentence that just came out of my mouth? 
what a difference 30 minutes can make. But as an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from the entire catalog, and you can also get access to their growing selection of audiobooks, originals, podcasts, and you can download all the titles you want so you can listen on the go. I personally use the Audible app because it's so easy to listen anywhere, while you're cleaning, while you're cooking, while you're at the gym, while you're on the way to one of your dates. New members can try it for free by clicking the link in my description box or text Jennifer Z to 500-500-500. It's <laughs> so hard for me to say. 500-500 for a free trial of Audible. All right, let's get to cleaning this battlefield. I can do it, I can do it. Man, I do not know where to start. What I've realized has helped me is not thinking about, oh, I need to clean this entire area at once because I find that that's really overwhelming for me and it makes me not even want to start in the first place because I'm like, this is such a huge task. Instead, I'm like, okay, let me just pick up one thing because the dopamine that you get from completing like one single task makes you actually a little bit motivated and you're like, okay, so that was not that bad. So then you pick up one more thing. For me, the trick is to get enough tiny little dopamine hits that I'm like, okay, I'm like finally into the groove of this and I can just keep going. <coughs> Oh my god. For me, having motivation sometimes to do things is not like having so much motivation in the first place to like start working out or start cleaning. It's like it comes from actually doing the thing. So it's kind of a hard cycle to get into though because like how are you supposed to start if you have no motivation? But I think like breaking things down into tiny little tasks where it's like, oh, I just need to pick up my glasses and put it back. That just starts the cycle. And then I had a party and immediately lost all of my progress. Um, look at how messy this table is. What I've realized though about being an adult is that it's just an eternal cleaning session, an eternal tax paying session, an eternal trying to figure out how to stay alive by yourself session, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but this was quite a lot of alcohol bottles to clean up. Okay, I know this particular scene will not bode well with what I'm about to say, but it's typically pretty easy to keep my kitchen clean because once I have very set out organizational systems in place, like I have a place for my dishes, I have a place for my pots, I have certain containers for certain foods, blah, blah, blah. It's like really easy to keep everything in check. And like once I have a system in place, like every time I have a dirty dish, I rinse it off and put it in the dishwasher. Clearly this hasn't happened in the past couple days, but it's not like stinky, stinky poo poo yet. You know what I mean? So I'm getting ahead of it. Well, not really ahead of it. I'm just getting, I'm just getting it. Get it. I was in the middle of cleaning my kitchen and then I ran the dishwasher and now it's been a couple days and the mess is already starting to pile up again. I have my little Red Bull. I actually don't drink the Red Bull every day, but look at my fridge. I've had this stock since when I moved in at the beginning of this year. I still haven't managed to drink it all. I've used it for pregame parties. I've used it as chasers. I've used it as like coffees in the morning, but I only drink like this much because I'm really sensitive to caffeine and that will get me wired. But it's currently a Friday night and we're planning to go out tonight and I'm like falling asleep. So I'm like, let me drink a little bit of Red Bull. But I also just got delivered these drinks from Olay. I recently went to this creator party in Vancouver and they were one of the sponsors. I tagged them on my Instagram and they're like, oh my god, like we're a local company. We want to like drop you off some of our drinks. I was like, wait, I would love to because it actually tastes really good. So I'm going to load these into my fridge and it's going to be really satisfying. <laughs> no boy has entered before um yeah i intend to keep it that way if anybody enters the abode they're staying on the couch my bed is my sanctuary my temple it's a girl's place and girl's place actually it looks like a boy bed like nah actually i feel like most boys that i meet are cleaner than me anyway i have recently done laundry and all the clean clothes are currently in the laundry hamper so i can't put all my dirty clothes 
Dude, the, the issue with the bedroom is always clothing. It's like always like where to put dirty clothing, where to put clean clothing. I mean, I know where to put clean clothing. It should be in my closet, but I haven't put it away. That's why all the dirty clothing is on my bed. Okay, I think the solution is once I do the laundry, I need to just put it into my closet. Right, so like I have a solution, but I haven't done it. Anyway, 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 okay. What's my first step? Okay, what's my first step? First step is to put away the clean clothes, and then I'll put the dirty clothes in the laundry hamper, and then I'll make my bed. Let's do it! The thing is, now that I'm a little more organized in the brain, it's a lot easier. Well, it's like a cycle, right? It's like when my space is clean, I have more mental clarity, and then when I have more mental clarity, I'm able to keep my space clean. I think your environment is a product of like how stable your brain is. Am I calling a bunch of you out? Yeah, but I'm also calling myself out, so it's not offensive. Oh my god, this guy's so beautiful right now. I just find that when I have excitement for life in general, my space reflects that. See, I don't know what starts it. Look at this guy. As some of you guys know, I have been doing the Glow Up Project for the past like two years. It's this series on my channel where I'm like trying to get my life together and doing it in like a cinematic way, kind of like pushing myself to be more creative, like filmmaking wise. But it has taken a long time and I was supposed to finish it the first year that I started. But it proved to be a lot harder because with every episode I was trying to release a song with it and also I didn't realize that like it's a lot harder to make those videos than my regular videos because I have to script them I have to make shot lists I have to film them myself edit them and it takes a lot more like editing and creative work than my usual videos but when I started I also was like majorly going through it like I was so depressed and like had no motivation for life I was just like trying to fake it till I made it but now I actually feel mentally very well Wow! Okay, I might have to retract that statement. I feel weller. This is one of my favorite shirts, by the way. Go Lando Norris! So I feel a little more like equipped to talk about that kind of stuff now that I've like been through some shit, you know? So I'm gonna be restarting that this month in January of 2024. And I'm really excited because I feel like I'm reinvigorated with YouTube during 2023. Sometimes I was like uploading just to upload because I'm like, oh, this is my job, like blah, blah, blah. Now I was going through my quarter life crisis. I really thought I could avoid it but I think everybody kind of goes through it but now I'm like ready to slay again I'm excited to make music I was like ready to quit music last year too but I think I was just a little scatterbrained because I was like bro what am I doing on this earth I'm just a floating speck of dust and yeah it doesn't like scare me like that but I'm also like what's the point there's no point so I should just like do whatever makes me happy but in the process, I kind of just like abandoned my work and like frolicked around the world and went to Europe for a month, went to Mexico, moved to New York for like two months and didn't have anything really like stable and everything felt very like temporary and fleeting. Even when I would go on dates, I would kind of unintentionally, I guess like close myself off. I wouldn't let myself like attach to anyone because I'm like, oh, this is temporary. I'm gonna be gone in like a month. Actually, I should talk about this more deeply in a future video, but I went on a date with this guy in Amsterdam. At the end of the day, he was like, it's actually really Really hard to connect with you because you wouldn't open up and I was like oh. because other people have told me this in the past and I'm like yeah 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 no I'm just like a cool girl no like I'm not like that I'm just like so chill like I'm like so open right so now at this point it took like a strange man in Amsterdam for it to click in my mind that I'm like oh maybe I do need to like be a little more vulnerable uh, on dates <sighs> Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. I'm not very open, but so he clocked me pretty hard. He was like, I just get the feeling that you are really good at portraying yourself the way that you want to be seen and really good at like controlling how people view you. I was like, oh shit. Perhaps it's because I've been a pathological people pleaser my entire life. And I actually didn't know that I came off that way. Ooh, like, whoa, I'm getting war flashbacks. <laughs> Cause in that moment I was like drunk on half a bottle of wine and I was like, <gasps> I can't deal with this emotionally right now it was a lot but also it made me change my outlook a lot more i went through a lot in europe so maybe i will um do a video on specifically my dates that i went on in europe I have been putting off this particular cleaning activity ever since I literally moved into this condo because I think that part of this grime was built up through the renovation process, but I think most of it was actually just left from the previous tenants. I think it's basically from the closet door pushing around dust and grime for the past like 10 years, and I guess nobody cleaned it because it's 
honestly pretty hard to clean but i just like shoved a wet swiffer wipe in there and like did the best that i could and i think i did a pretty good job it was pretty gross but i think it's a little bit nicer to look at now to the next one that they can live without me all right this is the point in the room where i get stuck and start to procrastinate but i realized that's because this is kind of like a mishmash area it's like all of these places don't really have a home as in like this shirt I wore one time. It's not exactly clean, but it's not dirty. We all have this issue, right? But I've decided instead of being stressed out every time I see this and just like blocking it away in my mind, I am going to set a designated place for each of these. Like every time my dirty clothes end up on my chair and I'm like, this is just a temporary space. Like I'm gonna find a system. I'm gonna find a system. Babes, it's been 25 years of trying to find a system. Is the system in the room with us right now? Well, it actually is. I've decided I'm just gonna let the chair be the system. I actually don't really sit here that often. So it's the perfect place for it. I can just stick it on here and slide it underneath the desk and you don't even see it. So this is gonna be my new purgatory space for my clothes. I also have what's even here? <laughs> I uh uh no 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 I'm not I can't even say what's in there that's so embarrassing I can't. No I can't even say what it is because I don't even know what it is anymore. <laughs> No, I definitely did not mean to leave this in my room for that long. And I don't even know what it is anymore because it's it's so it's so not in its OG form, it's crazy. Yeah, this has gotta go. This has gotta go. And then I have like I have three cups here. Why? I don't know, because I don't even drink water. Oh shit. Oh well, oh my god been a journey. It's been a journey. I guess it's true that I don't drink water because those cups were filled and I was like, oh, there's no water in here. So I held them all like sideways. Guess where the water is now. I'm gonna go change my socks. I am semi-dry now. Well, define dry. I guess of any definition, this is really not true. Anyway, I have a couple of pieces, I guess, that are in the same category of semi-dirty, semi-not. This one is worn one time. Okay, this, this motherfucker. I lifted these like a long time ago because I was like, oh, I really want a pair of wide-legged Lululemon yoga pants. And they fit me really well. They're really comfortable, but it has this blue cheetah print up top to 2016 Tumblr Queen. However, I was like, oh, this isn't really my style, but I could probably just dye it. Girl, I literally dumped the blackest of black dyes on here. I like submerged it in the tub for like two hours. And I was like, oh, it's gonna look so good. I wrung it out and it looks exactly the same. Like not an inch of it took any of the dye. So I think this is actually made of polyester. Should I have read that before I started the project? Definitely yes. Anyway, I don't think that it's in the cards for me to dye it. I think I could try one more time with synthetic dye or I might just have to retire these. But how about let me just keep it in the closet longer and not wear it for the next six months and decide in the meantime, actually, because it's gonna be hidden in my closet somewhere, I'm not gonna think about it for the next six months. And then the next time I find it, I'm like, oh, I should probably dye these. And I put it back into the to-do pile and I won't think about it for six months. And then I repeat the cycle for the next five years. How about that? And I think that sounds like a really, really good plan actually i don't know about you what's this oh uh, okay 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 i think i have these two items as things i need to donate i'm gonna add this to my donation box hello donation box my leg is so wet and cold right now it's fine oh god everyone's finally home i do want to show you guys this because i got this on my trip to italy Ah, oh, look at how cute this is. It's an Alfa Romeo calendar that I got in Venice. Technically, I am a McLaren slash Ferrari F1 fan, but they didn't have those calendars, so I'm pretending to be an Alfa Romeo fan, but it's so cute. It has all of these different calendar spreads for 2024. I'm so excited to flip these open. I need to think of which wall I want to put it on, but this will be cute. I know that I'm going to be using this soon. I'm filming this in December, so it's not quite time yet. I need this in like a temporary holding space. Honestly, I think right here will be fine. This will be cute.
Hello! Look at my finished, cleaned apartment. Look at how beautiful it is. Aesthetic. Ah, oh, I might be a cleaning girl now. New Year, new me. It's actually been a couple days since I did the entire clean, and I've pretty much been able to keep it up to this, like, sparkling condition. Okay. My brother's saying that he helped. Okay, how am I, like, you picked up a little piece of garbage? <laughs> Anyway, one of my New Year's resolutions is to do a little bit of cleaning every day so I don't get into that like insane, messy, can't see the floor state that I have been in for the past couple of years. And I do feel like my, you know, life trajectory is on the up. Like I do have some better life habits now. So hopefully that can be sustainable for my space too. Anyway, I hope this brought you some inspo for the top of the new year. Get off your butt and start cleaning. I'll see you next time. Bye!